up y'all what up what up first video of the year I want to set you guys off right we're gonna start this off right if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload guys it's the new year happy new year everybody first video of the year so we're gonna do something a little bit different this video I'm gonna show you guys how to heat press on a ball cap guys so um this is different we're just gonna jump into it and see how it works out okay I'm not sure of what design I'm gonna put on here yet but I think I think I have some design elements so um let's get into it I'm just gonna design it myself and I'm gonna show you guys print it out um, weed it and we're just gonna press it on all right let's go so guys we got our cap press right here guys we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and let it heat press let it, let it heat up to the appropriate temperature turn this joint on right here go ahead and let it heat up a few things I like about this hat press guys you can not only um, press onto hats but you can also press onto garments um, around different areas of the garments like your sleeve for example it makes it easier to press vinyl onto sleeves because you got the rounded part that the hat lays on you can put your sleeve on there put some vinyl on there and press down on it you could also with these shirts with these rip away tags you can rip away the tag get your own custom vinyl logo put it on the logo lay your uh lay your neckline down there and press onto that it makes it easier to do that also so guys it's more than one this machine has more than one use it's advertised to press on to caps, but you can be creative and use it for other things. Now, I'm using a um, cutting mat because when you use a cutting mat, you can take advantage of the little pieces that you have laying around. Like, if I didn't use a cutting mat, I could use just one piece of vinyl but I'd have to use a whole long piece of vinyl in order for the rollers on the Cameo 3 to catch the side and hold the vinyl in place but this is one of the benefits of using the cutting mat like I said you can just take advantage of little scraps that you have um, laying around and that's why I like to use a cutting mat guys even though I wanted to design something crazy and fly for y'all I decided to go with just a regular white HTV because it's something that I could wear and the white text would be more visible on the hat and um, anything else would just be too crazy and sometimes, a lot of the times, less is more. All right, now that the Cameo's done the cutting, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out of Cameo and weed our final hope this is big enough to eat we're gonna see Alright guys, our heat press is still heating up, but I feel like we got an appropriate amount of heat in it. So we're just going to go ahead and lay our hat down onto the heat press, the hat press rather, and we're going to press it down for a few seconds to get the material nice and warmed up. Get all the moisture out just like we do with shirts, right? So we got that moisture out for a few seconds. Go ahead and lay our design on there, right? Line it up nice and good. Now, hats have this little thing in the middle. They have kind of like a, a little crease in the middle. So we're going to have to give this a nice amount of pressure so that this transfer applies good. So I got the, I got it the right amount of pressure applied. I got it kind of like on heavy pressure. So I'm just trying to line this up good, guys. Kind of get it like in the middle. Once I feel like I have it in the middle, I'm just going to go ahead and press it down. 
like so. Nice amount of pressure. Hit it off for the full amount of seconds. And we'll see how it comes out. 30 second press with this uh, HTV that I'm using right here. Alright guys, our press is up. Let's see how this thing came out. Alright. We got our hat. Come off the press right here. Already I can see that I pressed this down too low. I should have had it like more up top, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and peel this off and see how our transfer came out. And guys, it came out okay. You can see I still got some left right here. We can go ahead and lay that back down if you want to and press it again so that everything can come off. I think I should have let this cool off a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and heat it, hit it one more time, guys. Let's see, wait till that, for that to cool off just a little bit. Again, I said I wanted my design to be up a little bit, but it was kind of down too far. Um, lesson that you guys can learn from me. Put your design up a little bit in the center of the hat. I should have lined that up before I even started placing it um, onto the thing, onto the uh, press. So let's see if it came off this time. And once again, no, that part of the design still didn't come off. And guys, I think this is because of the type of, no, it's, I know exactly why it is. It's because this part right here, if you could see this crease right here. One second, let me try to get a better view for you. This is a perfect example for you guys. Um, see, this notch right here, there's like a little thing right here, guys. It's like a little lip right here. So on the press that wasn't even so this material right here on the hat it wasn't laying down you know what i'm saying it wasn't laying down so in the event that you, you you're doing something like this you kind of want to get some material and lay it in the back of here to make that part push up so that this won't happen to you okay so that's just an example for you guys see the benefits of having a hat press um, didn't come out good, didn't come out crispy, there's nothing you could sell, but it's an example for you guys. Um, I didn't want to fake anything and make everything seem like it's all perfect all the time because when you're doing stuff like this, it's not, but you get an idea of what the hat press does and if you want to purchase it or not and, you know, you can see what you can do with it. I personally would only use this to uh, press onto the necks of my shirt or you know hard to reach areas on shirts guys because as you, or maybe like right here on a hat because as you can see you have problems going you know getting areas like this okay to be honest with you um i would not recommend this machine um actually you know what i would recommend this machine because of the things that i use it for but if you're going to do hats, then you're going to have to be careful because as you can see, this has like the shiny effect on it. And I hate that. It's very unprofessional. You can't sell this to anybody. But um, what I would recommend you guys doing if you're going to do something like this is to lay um, some material over top of this so you don't end up with that shiny type of effect because it's horrible. It doesn't look good at all, guys. All right. So yeah guys, you guys saw the good, you guys saw the bad, and you guys definitely see the ugly guys. Definitely nothing that I would sell. Um, but again, like I said, I personally use this machine for heat pressing tags and heat pressing like uh, designs onto sleeves and stuff like that. So the machine is useful, but personally, um, probably not for what it's meant to be, which is being a hat press. You got to be real strategic when you're doing this stuff. You got to like lay material over here so you don't get that shiny hat thing, which is horrible. Maybe you can do beanies with it because beanies you won't have to worry about too much because, you know, you want your fitted hat to be perfect and stuff like that and not have that shiny hat thing. So, like I said, I didn't want to sugarcoat it for y'all. I wanted to show you guys exactly what you got. 
um, did this thing on a fly. I had used this once before and kind of like the same thing happened. So I should have been better prepared for you guys, but it's all good because I want you guys to see everything because a lot of times you guys watch these videos and it appears that everything goes perfect all the time. And when you're making garments, you're going to run into these problems. You're going to have issues and you're going to have to work out a few kinks and a few bumps in the road with any business, especially when you're trying to deliver something that's perfect, crisp, and quality to your buyers guys so um it's your boy man i hope this video was helpful if you're still interested in buying a hat press product link will be down in the description below use your boy's link it'll help out the channel a lot matter of fact use my link if you're purchasing anything on amazon all my videos have my links in them so if you're purchasing anything on amazon ever just go through amazon click one of my links down in the description below and once you're at that product link, navigate away from that product and go to whatever you're going to buy. And as long as you go through my link buying that product, I still it still helps me out a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you're tuned in. Subscribe to the channel. First video of the year, January. I'm out, guys. 2019. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby.